Hello, everybody. This is your boy, Brother Ro, coming to you from Financial Empowerment. And today, watch me. I am getting rid of this credit card. And the reason why I get rid of this card is because they canceled this card. And um, I'll tell you the reason why they cancel it, not because of late payment or delinquency, but because I did not use it for over a year. It was canceled. See, the bank wants you to use the credit cards and pay the 19.9% and the 24.25% because that's how they make their money, okay? So I did not use the card for over a year. There was no need for me to use it. I got about five or six credit cards. I got a Home Depot credit card. And if I do use it, I pay it off at the end of the month. Or I would use it if I get six months interest-free, 12 months promotion interest-free, 18 months or 24 months. Let's say I have to buy like a refrigerator. I will take it on the Home Depot card. No interest for 24 months. And in 24 months, it's paid for. So I didn't pay any interest. I hate interest rate when I have to pay it. It's a beautiful thing when it's compound and I get paid for it. All right. So what happened today? I got another credit card, not because I'm a credit card junkie or because I want uh, all these credit cards, but um, I, I, I get credit cards that has benefits, you know, and that give me a cash back. And today I got a TD Bank. And the only reason why I get a TD card is because I opened an account and I opened the account and the, 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 the lady there was just begging me to take a card. So I said, let me apply for it. And so I get a $10,000 credit card and it's 0% interest for the first 15 months. And also I got zero uh, transfer balance for 15 months. See? See here, and I got a cash back. I got, it could add up to 2% cash back. So you get cards when it's to your advantage. Like I use Macy's card, I paid off at the end of the month. No interest, and I get cash back. I use my Chase Freedom card. I get 1.5% cash back. I just uh, cashed in $150. I use my card to buy groceries. I might as well. I spent money for groceries anyhow and I get something back. But um, this month is Financial Literacy Month, and um, they said two-thirds of Americans lack financial literacy, and credit card is a killer in this country. Last year alone, Americans spent in interest and in late payment over $100 billion with a capital B. And who pays credit card late fee and interest? More than likely, People that are struggling, the average hardworking person, because rich people don't pay overdraft fees, they don't pay late fees, they don't pay high interest, you know, so we got to learn to get out of this. So the only reason why I take this, this card is because it's 0% um, interest for the first 15 months. But watch this. Let's say you have a credit card outstanding for like about $5,000. You have to pay 3% of that 5000 which will be $150. So you pay $150, and you pay off that loan of $5,000. let us say that loan was for 21.21%, and you owe $5,000 on that. You pay that loan off, and you just it will cost you $150. And you, you must make sure you pay it off within the 15 months. So that's what I did. I was I there was a time I struggled, you know, with credit cards and you're paying the minimum so you wouldn't get a late fee and you're paying the minimum so your credit wouldn't get bad and you're paying five credit cards, the minimum, it was a disaster. And so um that's why you know the good book says that the rich rule it the poor and the borrower, the borrower is slave to the lender. So yeah, be disciplined, be smart in managing your credit card. It can hurt you big time, big time. Another thing is overdraft fees. 
Let's see. And, and by the way, on this card, you know what's the late fee? The late fee is $40. $40 return payment, $40. They, they murder you in fees. In fees. Last year alone in overdraft fees. Over $20 billion was spent. And you don't have to enroll. You could tell them, listen, take me off, off, off of it. Because guess what? They will charge you up to five overdraft fees in one month. That's $35 right there. That's over $150. And guess what? You tried to buy something for $24.95 and you only had $23. They will still give it to you. And that $199 is going to cost you $35. That's giving away money. That's making the rich richer. That's why the wealth inequality gap is so wide and it's getting wider and wider. Look, we all need a credit card and there's something called acquired debt to create asset. You know, um, so yeah, you want to do that. And so you don't want to, you don't want to, you don't want to end up paying all these fees. You know, it can really, really hurt you. So don't pay the minimum. Before you do anything, I am asking you, I'm begging you, please pay your debt. Let me show you something here quickly. Um, in terms of uh, paying off your debt. All right, watch this. It says, if you have a balance of $5,000, $5,000, and you pay the minimum with an APR of 21.21%, and you pay the minimum balance, the minimum payment only, it will take you over 30 years and $21,643.83, my God, in finance charges to pay off that debt. And that does not include fees that might occur during the balance. So, I mean, that's a no-brainer, you know? So, if you could get some good cards with uh, balance transfer, I, I've used them. My wife and I, we have used them to our advantage. And I, I don't really have no high interest credit cards because I pay my credit cards at the end of the month. So I save, I hate, like I said, paying interest. But the 3% is okay. Some cards give you a, a, a 3% or 4% or 5% fee. I will only use a 3%. So 3% of $1,000 is $30. So let's say you have $1,000 on a credit card. You want to transfer the balance, you pay off, that's uh, 25%, 25.6%, 0. 0.99%. You pay it off and you pay $30 up front. You divide it in 12 months. Let's say it's 12 months, uh, no interest, and you pay it off. And you attack them one at a time and get rid of them. Never pay the minimum. You will be paying it all your life, okay? So I'm telling you, man. These things, you got to be careful. All right, this is Brother Ro. Listen, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would like you to hit that subscribe button. All right? And give me a thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section. I would love to hear from you. It helps with the algorithm. All right? And also, you can get a free stock from Webull, even two free stocks if you uh, invest $100 up to $1,850. Uh, hey, listen, you got to get in it. And, and, and try to get some free stocks there. With Robin Hood, you can get a free stock and so forth. All right. So I uh, want to let you know also that I am not a financial advisor and I'm just doing this for entertainment purpose and to really challenge us on this journey. You know, I've been stuck at this 100,000, man, and it's tough for me to move. It's such a volatile year, as a matter of fact, uh, up and down. And I want to take you quickly to my portfolio. And when I do that, uh, we're going to wrap things up. But yeah, man, you got to watch those credit cards, man. These credit cards, they're no joke. All right. So here I'm sitting at uh, $98,839.38. I'm down $1,643.05. The market has been very, very volatile. Look here, 101000 Okay, look here, 100000 Back up to 101,000, down to 100,000, 
back up 101,000. Now down to 98,000, back up 99,000, back down to 98,000. So you see, back up to you know almost 99,000. Hopefully before the the market closes, the market is about to close in the next half an hour. So all right, so this is your boy brother Ro. Uh, today was a big day with Coinbase. I bought one share, and that one share is down. I say, hey, let me let me let me let me buy a share. It's not gonna hurt me one share, and I see where that goes. But um, uh, crypto and Bitcoin, man, they, they're making noise, and um, it seems like they're not going away. And these big companies, J.P. Morgan and uh, Tesla, and uh, people are getting involved in uh, these big banks now. These institutions are getting involved in crypto. And I, I don't own any Bitcoin, but I might just throw something in there. Not, not the farm. I will not bet the farm on it because it's still very volatile. But you don't want FOMO, the fear of missing out. All right. So listen, this is your boy, Brother Ro. All right. Hey, hey listen, man. Be good. All right. Be safe. And um, let's let's focus forward. Watch those credit cards, man. Watch those credit cards. Try to get rid of them. Uh, we are on a mission for to financial freedom on this financial journey. All right. Listen, take care, be good, and I'll talk to you later. All right. Bye now.